What it do, Top Media TV, we back with another video. So, WAC 100 responds to Jay Prince calling him out. Y'all know Jay Prince was in his hood solo, walking around, throwing shots at WAC 100, saying, you know, I can go back to my hood. I'm walking through my hood solo, and WAC can't really do that without calling out his name. So, pretty much, you know, WAC took offense to that and pretty much had responded. Now, they've been going back and forth for a few times, you know, when the Larry Hoover situation had came about. Um, about his documentary, a lot of people were saying Wack was trying to, you know, get the rights to that, and Jay Prince had an issue with that because Jay Prince was the one who was also trying to get the rights to the Larry Hoover documentary. But Wack 100 responds, and because Wack had knew that Jay Prince had blocked him from commenting, you know, he was able to comment under his Instagram and pretty much had made a few comments. One of the comments was, "Why were you so nice in that?" alley downtown he also said you know shook down Suge had ran down on jay prince and jay prince was running down las vegas boulevard he said did you forget Suge made you run down las vegas boulevard he also said you left your ferrari in the street another comment he said harry o was out of jail why you ain't woofing like you was when he was in there because y'all know harry o had made a claim that he helped jay prince start rap a lot records and jay prince had responded and said harry o had nothing to do with that and now harry o is home Wack is saying, why you ain't standing on what you said, you know? Wack also I took a screenshot of Jay Prince, you know, walking around his neighborhood. And he was in the comments saying, this bozo Jay Prince got my name in his mouth, but blocks me from commenting. Everybody else can comment, but he took the time to block Wack from comments and said my name so many times. The chat is asking why he's screaming my name. I have real estate in his mind. Ask him why Jay Prince Jr. has a sealed file. Ask him to address that in the hood. So Wack, you know, directly responding to Jay Prince. He didn't like the fact that Jay Prince was speaking about him in a negative fashion. Also, the fact that him saying Wack 100 can't go back to his hood. Now, that's a narrative that's been out there for a while. A lot of people were saying Wack don't go to his hood day. He's not welcome in the Pukuma Paru hood. You know, a lot of people is trying to get at him. Y'all know a lot of his OGs is really trying to get at him for the simple fact that, you know, I guess... He'd been going back and forth with a lot of his OGs on social media. And that's why a lot of people, including Jay Prince, feels like Wack can't go back to his hood. But for those that don't remember, this is what Jay Prince said, y'all, about Wack. Respect the love. So, this is who I am. Uh, I'm giving them an example of uh, a lot of talk that shit. You hear them on, on these internets talking that shit. They can't even walk to the store. Yeah, they can't walk to the store, the service station, to the park. They can't do nothing in peace. You know what I mean? But they fooling. Our, yeah, fooling our you, fooling the people with that loud ass talking, like they stiff when uh they honey buns and police and they working with them. You know what I mean? I don't like that shit. You know what I mean? I don't like. Yeah. Yeah, but this is this is the war. Y'all walking, yeah. observing the the hood. You know what I mean. This is uh the stumping ground where, as a kid, oh, oh. yeah, you know what I mean. We we was off in here doing what we do, and it's a beautiful thing to become successful and not abandon. You know what I mean. Where you come from, I understand everybody can't do this but that don't mean you you can't give back in some kind of capacity you know what i mean give back as a token of love and by no means am i asking anybody not qualified to be walk in the hood to get bold enough and just say oh shit, i'm gonna take me a walk in the hood bad news might beat you home so I ain't gonna ask that of you, but and you ain't just walking in the hood, though. Just you walking yeah. on one of those main streets in the hood. You got damn right. Not sitting listening to these clowns, you know, with these lies that they like to to tell the day. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, this lying shit is in style. You know, it's it's a hell of a thing about this lying thing. This. You know, it's it's uh it's some in style shit going on today, and I don't tell it alone. Yeah, I don't I don't receive it, I don't condone it, and I don't even like the niggas that that support it and with it. 
because I understand what what's gonna come with that. You know what I mean? I understand what's gonna come with that, and uh, it's a cold thing. You know these dudes on the on social media talking about booty digging in their booties and and all kinds of shit that I hear. I'm like, what kind of shit is this going on? <laughs> You know what I mean? But <clears throat> for each his own, man. I don't I don't condemn a lot of you uh fakes. You know what I mean? Do what you best at doing. But understand, you know, that post I wrote the other day. The universal laws govern us all. And when I when I use those words, reaping what you sow. You, you can guarantee you're going to reap what you sow. Ability need to be held. Well, only so. So let me know what y'all think about WAC 100's response to Jay Prince. Seems like, you know, they always going to have an issue because, you know, WAC 100 had initially had started going in on Jay Prince and Jay Prince is just responding, calling WAC a rap, saying he can't go back to his hood. A lot of people have been saying that narrative, including. Wax OGs from his neighborhood. I think I can count like maybe three or four Wax big homies saying he can't come back. So I don't really know what's going on, but uh, let me know what y'all opinion is in the comment section, man. Peace, y'all.